after my little adventure onto the bee-friendly world we were trying to create, I thought I'd better do my part on the corner of my little block here and start a bit of a seed bed. So I've bought myself some hollyhock seeds and I've got some old-fashioned white clover, but we're going to put that somewhere else. And I thought, you might as well come along for a bit of seed planting and then you can see our flower bed grow over the next few weeks, months, years, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this is our attempt at making a, a seed resource because actually going out and buying a kilo bag of hollyhock seeds, that'll send you broke real quick. So I bought a little couple of little satchels and thought I might be able to grow my own. But what was that show? The castle, I think it was. And there was this classic line in there. Tell them you're dreaming. But you know what? Sometimes a dream is where it starts. I think people are going to think I've lost the plot, aren't they? <laughs> Planting flowers. And, and before all you bloody beekeepers write in and tell me how many million flowers you need to grow a box of bees, I do realise that it's an acre of flowering plants per box per month. So you ended up about four or five acres of flowers for a box of bees. I do realise that, but just humour me. It's all good fun. I Don't be this hard. No, if you have a garden and you treat all those statistics, if everybody planted three or four flowering plants in their garden that flowered across the season, well, look at that. I don't know how many acres are in a town, but there's a fair few. So come along for the journey. And they look pretty too, what's more. Ow, shit. <laughs> Uh, that'll be the next thing, won't it? Poor old thing probably won't even start. Uh, I got this from the father-in-law. He had a garage sale and the offspring sold all his cool shit and this thing didn't sell, so I got it. So, you know, that'll give you some idea how it went. Brum, 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 brum. Nah, I was just thinking maybe I should try and start it before I get it off. <laughs> Heck, Mr. Muscles, you might have to come help me. <laughs> Don't grab it by the blade, so just... Oh, there you go. Oh, no. I feel worn out just thinking about it. Here we go. Oh, that went well, didn't it? <laughs> Hang on, I wonder if I have to lean it back a bit. Oh, God, it's not going to happen. Oh, we're off! Woohoo! this up a couple of times before this this is just the regrowth so hopefully we've got the summer weeds well the spring weeds anyway germinated now I figure I'm going to plant the seeds in a nice row so as that we'll know what is the seed we want which is going to be the hollyhocks and maybe some borage I don't know depends on how far we go and then we'll be able to come in here and we'll be actually be able to harvest well we'll be able to weed the rows for a start when the vision comes into fruition and we're planting a thousand acres well, we'll probably just do that with a jolly, um, what are those things? A combine. How fun, fun would that be? A thousand acres of hollyhocks, that'd make some shit happen. Oh. Oh. Golly gosh, the bloke's unfit. <laughs> anyway, goodness me. We'll just have a bit of a look in here in the seed box that came from the internet and see whether we can become flower farmers in our spare time. <laughs> Not that we really got any spare time, actually, have we? Whew. God, I'm puffing after all that excitement. Anyway, I just thought, just a quick shout out to all you guys out there that are supporting us and have um, logged into the Patreon supporting page or sending us some blooming transfers. It's awesome to keep this show on the road. And just as a footnote, we're not actually spending your money on, well, I'm not even spending it on the seeds. I'm actually, I'm not spending it on the bee equipment or that mad truck you saw us buy, none of that. 
we're actually just trying to support this show because I mean we've had to get a new camera and we had to upgrade the what's that stuff called the editing stuff so we can actually make the show come together and you could actually download it and watch us so if you feel so inclined to click over onto the patreon supporting page it's all about keeping the show rolling because this show is really chewing into our time a little bit but heck we're loving bringing you this show and bringing you information and getting you to talk about bees and how cool it is and yeah so we're trying to keep it together and we appreciate all you guys coming along for the ride you know a dollar here and there goes a long way ten dollars goes further of course <laughs> of course the expense of the tea the expense of the seeds is relative to the quantity bought i bought i found these i think this is like that aslam which is like a really cute little carpet i think they're actually going to get planted a little bit at home or there's some of them so they're obviously cheap because i bought a shitload of them and then we've got some what have we got in here i've got some this is what we're going to plant here some hyssop which is supposed to be really good so i've got a few of them and some hollyhocks hey i've got them mixed together we better make sure we don't make them mix up so we got hyssop and hollyhocks and it's an interesting thing i was listening to the hell i don't know what you'd call them but anyway they're naturalist folk and they were talking about how cool the roots on the hollyhock is so I don't know, we might have some hollyhock root soup yet. We'll see what happens, but oh, it's not really what we're trying to achieve here. And we've got, what have we got here? We've got some borage, which is apparently a really in hectic blooming plant. So I don't know how that's going to go. I read, I read after I bought all these seeds, I read that apparently it's a little bit invasive. So I might put that down, down in the pine nut forest because that might, better. I'm not sure it would go real good in the orchard. <laughs> we'll have a whole orchard full of borage. That could be fun. Oh dear, what else have I got here? Um, no, what's in this little bag? What have I got in here? I'll tell you what, the joys of late night shopping on the internet. Oh! I do all this research and I read about which is the good nectar plants and what I'm supposed to be doing and how it's meant to come together. And then I go and order it and then it all turns up in the post and I think, my lord. What am I going to do with all of this stuff? Anyway, here we are, the side of a hill, digging up plants. Or well, not digging up plants, planting plants. I haven't actually brought any string line, so I thought, well, this here drip line, ho well, watering hose would work. So we're going, to make, we're going to make two sections. We're going to have hyssop at one end and hollyhocks at the other, or vice versa. I don't know. We'll count how many seeds we've got in a minute. I haven't even opened up the hollyhock packet to see how blooming small they are. I'll bet you they're like microscopic and they'll all end up in a big mess, but still. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have a funny, I have a sneaking suspicion I'm not going to get a guest appearance on the Gardening Australia show. That big bearded guy will probably howl me down. But anyway, oh, I have my own abilities and maybe gardening is not one of them, but you never know, we might grow some flowers. Hell, I hope we do after all this excitement. Hallelujah. <laughs> Goodness gracious, bush bee man. That looks like a reasonably straight line. Then all we're going to need is a stick. We have to do it in a line because otherwise when they come up, we won't know which bit's the weed. Because the last time I did this last year, I just threw them all out in a big heap and it all come up and there was weeds and shit everywhere and I didn't know what I had, so. Anyway, so I stopped watering them and just didn't worry about it because so that you'd call that an epic fail so this is part two i'm hoping this is just going to be a mediocre fail <laughs> no i'm hoping it's going to be a bloody a mediocre success going to extraordinary so we're going to need a planting stick god there's a few prickles here lad <laughs> this is going to be a weed fest come summer <laughs> oh golly gosh it's definitely not a market garden bed, that's for sure. I'm just wondering how big these seeds are. Not real big, I don't think. Where am I gonna open that so I don't lose them all? So I'll go on, I might open this one in the car or out of the wind or something. Cause I don't know how big the seeds are. I don't think they're very big. Yeah, hang on. We might just do a bit of sorting out here cause we've got, how many seeds in a packet? 35 seeds covering in double flowers apparently it says in bright mixed colors it says it's good for cut flowers makes an awesome border on the edge of your almond orchard and it says attracts bees and butterflies so there you go I don't think it mentions almond orchards really it says it could make a good border 
What I need now is a stick. I had a stick here the other day. It's obviously not in my pocket, is it? <laughs> oh, come on! Ooh. What do you reckon? Where's them halfway? I reckon about there. Be out here where you are. That'll do. <laughs> I might have to find a hat. The sun's finally come out. You reckon we'll see that line in the sand? <laughs> That's an old saying, isn't it? I've drawn my line in the sand. And then I figure we'll go up the tube to get a straight line. Ah, well, I'm just using the hose here as a, some sort of bit of a straight edge. So we can scrape a bit of a line, then we can plant the seeds in that, and then we'll cover them up. And then when we come to weed them, we'll know which is which. Because like I said, when you plant them out, when I was just slacking, I just spread them everywhere last time. I didn't know what was what. It's all right if you know what the blooming things look like when they're a little plant, but... Anyway, so hopefully this is a better project. I might make the actual rows as wide as that rotary hoe, and then I could just whip up and down the middle of it with that. Would that be too slack? Yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> Flowers from the south. I really don't know what the hell that is, this stuff. Seeds that grow. Notes in the list. Well, one would hope the seeds would grow, wouldn't you? I mean, golly gosh. I don't know, Mark. What are you doing? What am I looking for, John? These ones. Not a lot of these, but they're pretty big seeds, so I don't know. I reckon we... What does it say? Does it say anything about spacings? Raise seedlings late summer. Late summer and autumn. What? Well, that's not much good. It's not late summer. What are you on about? Man, oh, well, we might be in terrible trouble. You can stake them too. Blue my neck. I'm not going to that's going to happen. Six millimetres, full sun, moist, well-drained soil. 150 to 200 days to flowering. Dead head to promote more flowering, it says. I'm a bit of a dead head, but anyway. <laughs> what the hell? Full sun, moist, well-drained soils. 200 days, it reckons. Hey, get off you. That's a long time away. That'll be, that'll be blooming January. Well, that might be perfect. I don't know. What the hell's the date today? There's only 30 days in a month. That'll never, they'll not make it. <laughs> Hell, that's a long time, isn't it? Man. Anyway, they're in this packet here in my can, so they're going to get in the ground. They're like a three quarter year plant before you get a flower, never mind a seed. Jiminy crickets. It says it's long flowering, it's bloody long growing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, it reckons we're supposed to plant them 40 centimetres apart. That's a bit of information that's really good. But the only problem I think I've started to figure out here, we should have planted these in, in the end of summer. Like, so they're supposed to grow through the winter. Because 200 days from now, hell, they'll never even get to the flowering point, will they? Oh, golly. Hang on, we'll have, we might plant one packet, what the hell? 200 days. <laughs> what is it now? August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, 30, 60, 90, 120. That's insane. <laughs> At least they'll actually be trying to flower in the middle of winter. Oh, John. That's a fail. Hang on. Look, look, look at the other packet. Ah, oh, man. See what happens when you read the directions. Oh, what has this got to say for itself? At least this one says we're allowed to plant it in spring. So maybe that's what we'll go with. Although in warmer climates, it says autumn and winter. Well, technically we're still in winter, so we might be right with this one. Oh, shit. Man, 
the things that happen around here, it's not fair on me. What does what is Mr. Blooming face his borage reckon? Direct in spring and summer. Mr. Hollyhock, you might have to wait for another turn. Right, anyway, what are we going to do now? I think we better do the right thing. They were, they were fairly expensive, so I don't think I want to put them in the ground and they don't actually turn into anything. Late summer and autumn. Well, we would be nearly in spring, so I'm fairly sure we missed it, didn't we? Yep. Right, anyway, back to the hyssop plantings instead. Maybe we'll plant this clover, because I bought this really cool old school yellow clover that the bees are supposed to like. Now maybe what does that say for itself? Don't sow too deeply. Firm soil around the seeds. Press down, only soak seeds in. What? No, many seeds, but not all seeds. This is just a general description, isn't it? Place seeds on top of good quality raising seed bed. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're in trouble for that description. Germinates is normally fast and usually around 10 days, any time of year except for midsummer. This time estimate will naturally not occur if it's too hot or too cold or too different or too... It's a bit like that jolly thing on the, on the telly when they're trying to sell you the... I don't know, what was it on there the other day? Auto-adjusting glasses and up in the top corner of the TV screen it's got this big notice going, results may vary. <laughs> I don't know whether that... I think that's a big out, isn't it? Results may vary. Oh, what else have I got in this bag? This could get rather interesting. How many seeds are meant to be in this packet? Right, when between 14 and 16 degrees, or 16 and 22. That'll do, there'll be somewhere in there. Have a look how small these are. Look how little they are. I'm gonna screw this shit up for sure. This whole blooming ridge might, <laughs> there's a lot of seeds in there. How the hell are we gonna do this, so clever? I'm sure this isn't the recommended dose. Lad. I'll never get on Gardening Australia. <laughs> bit of spray some weeds I think but apparently we're trying to grow some weeds and we're just trying to grow some professional weeds instead of just this mess by my filter goodness gracious <laughs> <laughs> oh come on mr. sprinklers I'm gonna get wet and cold in a minute is this microphone waterproof maybe you'll have to do it Oh, I don't mean doing this. <laughs> oh, come on, you mingles. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> well, there you have it. You're at the birth of the Bush Bee Man Flower Seed Bank. Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll find out in a month or three. Garden. Okay, go for it. You see, if you watch Gardening Australia, you'd know what I'm talking about. No. You don't watch Gardening Australia. Well, good point. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have brought my line, wouldn't I? <laughs> okay. Explain what you're doing. 